What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so, yes, in our last episode, or the last two episodes, we went up against two different gym leaders, and we kind of upped the, the level, uh, the level, whatchamacallit, cap for everybody right here. Um, don't know what to say right here, but yes, guys, we got ourselves five badges. We skipped Koga, of course, because, well, you know... Somebody put up on, on, our, on our page right here that we couldn't take on uh, Sabrina just yet, but we accepted the challenge, we did it. Now we got three more badges to go, and uh, well, in this episode right here, we're going to be going ahead and capture, uh, what was it, Snorlax right here. Now, before we do anything, I checked up on the level, or the leveling of, uh, of Weeping Bell going into Victory Bell, and well, it seems that the next two moves that it learns, very typical moves, so I think it's time for us to actually evolve our Sir Razor to its final form, and that is Victory Bell right here. So here it is, guys. We are evolving, and uh, well, I'm not having any kind of a, uh, you know, any kind of complaints with this Pokemon right now, just because there are quite a few moves that I could teach it. You know, it's supposed to learn Razor Leaf at level 38, and then Slam. Not the best moves ever. But, there are other moves that I could teach it in order to actually progress through this whole walkthrough right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Sir Razor, as you can see, both grass and poison type Pokemon. And, uh, well, look at that, it's, a, it's physical attack, it's pretty good, and it's special, it's damn good too. And, like I said, I can switch up all these moves just to accommodate it. Uh, eventually, we're gonna go into the Pokemon League, and it's gonna have a completely different uh, move set right here. So. Yeah, we're going to need this guy right here, because uh, the next guy that we're going to be battling, yeah, this is going to be a doozy. So if you guys remember, a few episodes ago, we got ourselves the Poke Flutes, and that was from um, from uh, Mr. Fuji himself. And now it is finally time to wake up these Snorlaxes that have been blocking some uh, important uh, entrance ways to, you know, different kinds of routes. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to try and capture both Snorlax in one episode. So, here's this big old lumbering uh, Snorlax right here. All you gotta do right now is use the Poke Flute, and bam! You will wake this Pokemon up. Now, I should warn you, the, these two Pokemon are both at level 30. They are hard to capture, so make sure to bring a lot of Great Balls when you're, uh, when you're doing this. So, here it is, this Pokemon's attacking us. And as you can see, we got a Snorlax waiting for us right here. A very, very powerful Pokemon. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting it to sleep. Like if it didn't like to go to sleep or anything like that. And well, as you can see, it is asleep. Now, I don't know if Snore is actually good in the... Or is actually a part of this game right here. But how it recovered or... Part of the part part of Snorlax's move say is to recover. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually get a little bit of growth. And... We're going to try and lower this guy's defenses and everything with Acid as well. Again, Snorlax is a very, very bulky Pokemon. Likes to mess with you a little bit, especially with the sleeping portion right here. So let's go right ahead and go for another Acid attack right here. And uh, yes, its defense has fallen. So let's go right ahead and try and capture it, although it's still... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put it to sleep again. Because chances are it might want to go with a rest attack, still go to sleep, but it will recover. So that is something that we need to actually take care of. So let's go ahead, use a gray ball right here. One, two, and three. There it is, guys, throwing out the peace sign. We got ourselves a Snorlax. And, uh, well, take a look at this. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. We'll eat anything even if, it, if the food happens to be a little moldy. And never go it gets an, uh, upset, uh, an upset stomach. So yes, we are going to be nicknaming this Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and nickname it Tank, because well, actually not Tau, Tank, because it is a pretty big tank. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves another. Well, we caught ourselves Snorlax, the Pokemon right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna go straight to Vermilion City and straight to the Snorlax that's been blocking the way over there. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so here we are. I do not know what route we're in, but we're close to Vermilion City and all that stuff. Now, I completely forgot to go to this route and battle every single trainer, probably because I'm skipping the big 
the big areas where most of the trainers are located and all that stuff because we kind of want to get to the main game right here nobody wants to see a buttload of battles so let's go right ahead and uh, look at this right here as you can see we found ourselves a hyper potion we've never been to this area and once you get into this location you'll find yourself another snorlax blocking the entrance way so now what I'm going to do, yes, I got 43 Pokemon captured. I'm going to save my Pokemon right here, my game, because, well, I kind of want to capture both Snorlax for this whole situation. So, let's go right ahead and use another Poke Flute yet again. Well, it's unlimited. We're just using the Poke Flute again. And, well, as you can see, Snorlax is about to wake up yet again. And uh, this one is at a grumpy rage. Now, if you guys have seen my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu walkthrough, both Snorlax have a different kind of power-up. And, it, you know, I guess the game only allows you to capture one, or if you're lucky enough. So, we're going to be using Sleep Powder again. And we're going to try and lower this Pokemon's defense. We're going to hit it with Acid. See if we can actually capture this one, too. Now, if we can't, then, well, you know, oh, well. We're SOL. And... Oh, yes. <coughs> Dang, coughing. Dang, a coughing has came into my room. We're gonna... Yes, we're gonna be a little lucky right here, lowering its defense. Again, Snorlax likes to use both Amnesia and Rest to both heighten its defense and to actually, you know, recover. So what we're gonna do again is put this guy to sleep. And as you can see, it's... It's, wide, it's, it's fast asleep. So let's go ahead and try and capture this guy right here. So here we go, a great ball, let's go. Give us the luck, one, nope. This Pokemon is, yeah, it's still it's still asleep. So the good thing is that we do have the speed advantage. I don't want to hit this Pokemon one more time because chances are we might beat it. And there it is, guys, we caught ourselves another Snorlax. And yes, I'm gonna give this, this guy another nickname here. Let's go ahead and give this guy the same nickname except Tank 2, because it's the second Snorlax that we caught right here. There we go. Tank number two. Go to the PC. And there it is, guys. We have two entranceways that is uh, that, that, that is wide open. So what is going to happen right now is, well, I'm going to try and avoid this trainer. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so electricity is his specialty. So, okay, we're going to get one battle here, and that is against Rocker. And, uh, well... Here's the thing, guys. We can go one of two ways to to Fuchsia City. We can go this way, which I it's a route that I don't remember the the number. And you know, you guys have seen the walkers before. There's a buttload of trainers here, and I I don't necessarily want to battle them all. Uh, yeah. And then you got yourself the cycling road, which you know we can skip a, a majority of the trainers and then battle them off screen so we can heighten our levels because uh, yeah. Uh, Koga's Pokemon are gonna be strong as hell, so I'm only like I, I'm only get assuming that I'm gonna be going to the cycling road because it's more logical. We can skip more trainers and all that stuff. And like I said, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be battling like crazy just to heighten up these Pokemon's levels. There's a there's a good reason why we have the speed button. And look at this, it's pretty cool that we got Terramon's earthquake attack right here. And just like that, Electrode has been defeated. And there we go, Rocker. He's like, unplugged. Yes, okay, so that's probably the only Pokemon battle we're gonna get right here. We're gonna go into this house, and we're gonna talk to this individual. He is the fishing girl's br guru's brother, and he loves fishing. So once we say yes, he loves our style, and yes, he's gonna be giving us a super rod, which will capture some pretty good Pokemon. A lot better Pokemon than what a good rod or a an old rod would get us. So, let's see. Is there anything else that I need to do? Yes. So, let's go right ahead and check out this, okay? So, now if we go on our bicycle, go in here, and go straight up here, we are going to be finding ourselves a professor's aid Talk to him, and he's like, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aid. If you caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an item finder. So, Draven, have you caught at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, we have, and we caught 43 kinds. And look at that. We got ourselves an item finder, which will actually help us find some items that we can't see. And, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much 
Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much not gonna do like we're not gonna be using it. So yeah, it's gonna go straight to the PC now. If you talk to this guy, he is looking for a Lickitung and he wants to trade it for a Doug Trio. Now that I don't know why that is a logical trade. I mean, shouldn't it be in reverse, Doug Trio for a Lickitung? I do not know now. Since we have defeated. I believe Erica we can actually use fly so what's going to happen is we're gonna go straight to Lavender Town and there is a little something that I want to check out before we continue on our adventure right here and that is we're gonna go south of Lavender Town and go into the tower right here and see what uh, kind of items were offered I mean there is there is an individual that will give you something for 50 Pokemon so let's go right here and if you talk to this girl, my Pokemon's ashes are stored in the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. And we get ourselves the TM39. And that is called Swift. It's a very accurate, so it's... Yeah, <laughs> use it during battles when you can't afford to lose. So this is a move that you desperately need if you guys have uh, any kind of like situations like Sand Attack or Flash hit on you. And, well, man, it's fishing. Okay, so that is that right there. Now, I do think there's one more place that I want to check out before we actually sign off right here. And that is going back to Celadon City right here. So let's go right back here. And away we go. I actually love the fact that we can actually fly now. So it's pretty cool right there. We got the Seed Evolution. We got to capture two pretty rare Pokemon and got to battle at least one person, get some rare items. You know, the whole shebang right here. Okay, so let's see. What else can we find? Let's go right here, and we're going to be going into this a particular area. This is the Cycling Road. And like I said, the next episode, we'll be going into the Cycling Road. And right here, you talk to this individual. Let's see. I'm going for a ride with my girlfriend. Okay, so there's... Yeah, there's really nothing that you can actually find here, except that you're going to be in the Cycling Road. And you can look through the binoculars. Okay, so... Yes, okay. So that is pretty much it right here, guys, for this episode. In the next one, we will be going into the cycling road, and we will be taking on quite a few trainers. Not all of them, but quite a few. And from there, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff like, you know, side quest stuff like uh, going to the Safari Zone, finding some rare HMs, and, uh, you know, everything else in between. And, uh,. I think it will be like maybe one or two episodes before we actually get to face Koga, but off screen, there will be a lot of Pokemon battles that you won't see because, well, you guys don't want to see the long path passageways around here. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing is we're going to be battling trainers off screen to get to Koga and then go on to the main parts right here. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to click on the subscribe button, the notification button, and then, uh, yeah. If you guys want to make a small donation here, the link is on the description. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. See you guys.